<laughs> oh, that's a really, really good burger. Oh, that's delicious. Wait, what's that noise? Oh, that's an alarm, obviously. Yikes, I gotta go. <laughs> Dang it, that's the alarm. It's my lunch break right now. Oh, wait, there Bob goes. Oh, I'm sure he'll handle it. All right, well, that's good. What a nice friend. Mm. This is such a good lunch. I love this burger. <sighs> oh, wait. Is that an alarm? Oh, yikes. Darn it. No, I, I don't want to handle that right now. It's all right. I'm just going to finish the burger, and then I'll do it. Right after. This is my lunch break. Oh, oh yeah. That'll be all right. <sighs> so, let's just enjoy this and not worry about that alarm. We'll be a little late, but we'll still get the house and everything. All right, I paused my lunch break just to get this fire. All right, well, let's go. <clears throat> wait, wait, why is the car slowing down? I'm literally hitting go. Uh, wait, what? I feel like I heard something. Uh, uh, that didn't sound good. Let me check. <clears throat> wait, what? No, the tiger's losing air. Shoot, I'm gonna have to hurry up to repair this. <sighs> Alright, I was only 12 minutes late. That was definitely worth that burger. Well, I gotta go now. <sighs> Alright, that's all good now. I gotta hurry up and go. Alright, we're here. I gotta hurry. Alright, where is this fire? Ooh, wait, that's a big fire. Uh, is this a house over there? What is wrong with you, sir? You're way too late. Uh, look, I, I'm really sorry about this, ma'am. Uh, we'll get your insurance on it right away. My, my tire popped whenever I was trying to drive over to your place. Oh, really? Man, I can't believe this. I don't have insurance because I thought I wouldn't need it. I thought the firemen would be handy enough. Oh, I'm sorry about that, lady. Well, maybe you should get insurance, um... I know some pretty good brands. Get out of here now! And I don't want to see you again. I don't want you to be the fireman. And I'm going to call to your chief. Uh, <laughs> okay. Ah! All right, we are here. Wait, where's the house? Uh, I know that I'm definitely there at the right place. Uh, let me go check. Excuse me, sir. Have you heard anything about fire over here? Oh, yeah, a fire. You're just a little too late. Oh, what are you talking about, man? I'm here to stop it right now. I'm here. Oh, yeah, my house already burnt down to a bunch of ashes. I had enough time to put the ashes in a cup with all my stuff. And I literally took the fire out myself with a hose. Whenever it was all burnt down, though, not in the big house, that's all gone. All my stuff in it is gone. Oh, well, sorry about that, man. Maybe just try not to get your house burning down whenever it's in the middle of my lunch break. What? It was an accident. I, I accidentally flipped over a candle. Well, mm, don't use candles, then. You have insurance, right? Well, yes, I have insurance. But not insurance for all my valuables. Those are all gone forever, and it's all your fault. I am very disappointed in you. I thought that I was in good hands. Oh, uh, well, you are, but um, you just got unlucky because, you know, you burnt down your house and while I was having my lunch break. Well, bye. I guess there's nothing I can do about it now. <laughs> Idiot. What is wrong with that lady? She acted like she couldn't help herself if her house was burning down. It's like, oh, well, I don't have insurance, and I was depending on you firemen. That's all. That's so stupid. Does that mean you have to depend on somebody for any emergency? Like, is there water men for if water leaks? Or roof falling men if your roof starts to fall? Or unstable wall man if your wall starts to crack? and then falls on you and kills you? Like, that's so stupid! Come on, you've got to have a little bit of defense for yourself! Ugh! Man, that guy got really, really mad. Well, 
I know I was a bit late, but you gotta consider people's lunch breaks sometimes. I mean, just don't let your house burn down whenever we're having our lunch breaks. It's that simple. Well, well, well. So tell me what happened. Look, sir. I, I, I know that it was all bad and everything, but it's only because my tire got popped. I, I had no idea how. I had no control over that. Your tire got popped? Well, I don't care. I don't care if your engine broke down. I don't even care if your car exploded. I just need you to get the job done. All I care about is you getting the job done and taking out the fire. Well, uh, come on, please. It was an accident. I, I had no control over it. I, I really didn't mean it. You had control over it. Watch out next time. Don't be such a dummy. You have to just get the fire. Is that so hard? Y yeah, it's hard. Oh, well, I don't care. It's your job, and that's what you get paid for. I can't afford to pay up my budget for somebody like you who is so bad at their job. You're not worth the amount of money I give you, and I'm going to have to fire you soon. I'm really considering it. Uh, sir, I promise I'll never do it again. Well, you'll need to prove yourself better, because I am very disappointed in you. Get out of here, now! Okay. Oh, wow! Look who it is! Oh, hey y'all, what's up, man? Hey, don't hey y'all, what's up, man? Me, I am very disappointed in you, Chester. What the heck happened out there? How do you just let a house burn, like Bob? Oh, well, I just got a little late, that's all. I mean, I was on my lunch break, so I took a few extra minutes. And now someone's house got burned down. This is so unacceptable. You've always impressed me, other than this, Chester. You've always been late, but never to the point where the, actually the house burnt down. This is terrible, all right? So I'm really considering firing you, and Bob, too. It's going to be one of you guys, because I can't fire both of you. So... I'm going to need to put some thought into that. All right, man. I'm sure you're going to keep me, though. I'm always better than Bob. Well, I mean, you always end up taking out the fire, but Bob is always there early. And I don't know. That'll be tough. But I'm going to be thinking about it. And you're not guaranteed to be keeping your job, so get out of here now. What is wrong with them? Hey, yo, you're going down, Bob. What? What the heck are you talking about, Chester? Did you get lectured by Rory, too? Oh, yeah, man. He's gonna be firing one of us. And I know who that's gonna be. Yeah. Well, that's gonna be you, obviously. Because I'm a way better fireman. I'm always here at the job. And you're always so late. You just get lucky. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's so true, Bob. I just get lucky. Not like I'm the bad person or anything. Hey, that's not true. Oh, well, I'll go prove it to you. All right? I'm a way better fireman, and we'll see how things go today. You're going down. Nope, you're going down, dude. I'm way better, and I'm going to prove it to you today for once and for all, and I'll be the one keeping my job, not you. Oh, yeah, we'll see about that. <laughs> oh, man, what a jerk. But I know I'm better than him. I'm confident I can beat him in this competition of whatever. I don't even know. Chester is so lazy. I mean, look at our comparisons for reasons why we might be fired. Mine was my tire getting popped, but me so getting on the job at the right time and going at the right time and actually being on time for all the fires that I saved. Chester's was just for being plain late. I mean, that's so stupid. Look who's the better fireman. It's so obvious. All right. I wasn't lying when I said I don't keep my job, and Bob isn't. I'm gonna go mess around with his truck's hose a little bit. Yeah, we'll just make a few changes to it. <clears throat> Alright, we got a little bit out. You know what? I'm gonna just put a little dent in this hose. You know what? That wouldn't hurt. <laughs> oh yeah, look, this is gonna work out so well. <laughs> Oh, yes, that's a lot. Time to prove myself worthy. Wait, what? Chester's already going? Oh, yeah. I guess it's just this one time so he can say that he's better than me. <sighs> All right. <laughs> that was perfect timing. And now I'm going to be earlier to the job than Bob. <laughs> I'm definitely going to be keeping my job. <laughs> <laughs> the 
that's so stupid. He never actually does that. Well, I'm gonna go take out this fire, not him. Whoa, oh my gosh, you're here already? Yep, I'm an early fireman. Oh, wow, thanks, that was so quick. Well, my house is really burning down, as you can see. Don't worry, I got that under control. Uh, okay, thank you so much. <laughs> Man, this is gonna work out so well. <laughs> oh, I see Bob pulling up too. Ooh, nice, we got a crew here. Yeah, crew, like we're totally working together. Yeah, we are. Oh, cool. Please take out this fire. It's an emergency. Yeah, I know. Let's do this, and let's totally show Chester who the better fireman is. <laughs> Someone's a little late. I've already gotten a full wall. <laughs> well, that's not very much. I only can take out the whole fire in that amount of time. <laughs> let's do this. Wait, what? Why is it not working? Why is it not spraying? What, what's wrong with this? No, I don't have time for this. <sighs> Come on, I gotta see. Chester's already getting so much done. He's almost done. No. <sighs> I got this easily. <sighs> what is it? Wait, what? There's a cut right there. What, what the heck is there a cut? That, that makes no sense. I gotta hurry up and fix this. Wait. Oh, uh, I, I guess it's no good now. Oh, oh my gosh, thank you so much, sir. Oh, you're welcome. That's what I do. Man, I can't believe it. You, you did that. My, my house isn't going to burn down anymore. I'm so grateful about that. Yeah, yes, thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome, man. Well... This is gonna be easy. <laughs> uh, okay, Rory can surely understand that the two reasons I failed were only because of luck, right? Y yeah, he, he can. <laughs> Chester, I'd like to have a talk with you. Yes, sir. Chester, your discipline has never surprised me or impressed me at all, but today, you really did. You got to the job earlier than Bob would ever have. You got there insanely quick, and not even anything in his house really burned down, actually. Oh, really? Well, that's pretty cool. Yep, you did an amazing job, Chester. Thank you so much for that. Well, yeah, uh, that's what I do. I always am that good. Ah, well, you're not always, but you pressed me today. Will you keep this up? Yes, boss, I will keep this up. I realize I've been sloppy and lazy, and I need to do a better job. All right, well, that's good to know. Can you call Bob into my office? Yeah, sure. All right. Hey, uh, yo, Bob, Rory wants you in there. Uh, okay. Wow, wow, wow. Look who it is. Uh, sir, um, hey, what's up? Don't, uh, 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 sir, hey, what's up, me? Understand? This is insane. For the second time, you did absolutely nothing at that house. You just stood around and was like, I'll watch Chester take it out. I'm gonna do nothing. You just stood around doing nothing. What is wrong with you? Uh, my hose got cut. Excuses, I told you I don't care about your excuses. It's so stupid. What is wrong with you? You know what? I, I'm done. Uh, done with what? I'm done having you in this job. You're fired. Wait, what? No, you are fired. No butts, no cuts, no coconuts. You're out of here. No. Ah, out. Hey, yo, why the long face? Well, obviously, Chester, because I got fired. Oh, oh, you got fired? That's really sad. <laughs> what? You think this is a joke or something? No, I actually got fired. Well, I think you kind of deserved it. I mean, you were never really a good fireman. <laughs> what? What a jerk. <sighs> well, maybe all those bad luck things were... Maybe I'm just not meant to be a fireman. Maybe those are signs of that. Well, guess I'll have to find a new job and a new place to stay.